terrorists aboard three passenger planes carried out a coordinated suicide attack against the World Trade Center in New York City and the Pentagon in Washington, D.C., killing everyone on board and nearly 3,000 people on the ground. A fourth plane that officially believed was intended to destroy the White House crashed into Pennsylvania Field after passengers and a crew bravely attempted to take control from the hijackers. Everyone on board the fourth plane perished. United, we fought for our liberty and won. And united, we stand. That is also the lesson of September 11, 2001. 16 years ago today, we, the people of the United States, united in the face of terrible acts when two hijacked airliners struck the World Trade Center in New York and the third slammed into the Pentagon, nearly 3,000 people were killed. The toll would have been much worse, but for the hundreds of selfless acts that day. It was the most devastating attack on America since December 7, 1941, when nearly the same number of people perished during the bombing of Pearl Harbor. But here's the thing about America. In both cases, the effect was to rally our country. There was a lot of heroism that day. When times get tough, as we've seen over the last couple of weeks in Houston, Texas, and in Florida, people who need help often find that they can count on neighbors and strangers and that people in uniform are ready to willing and step in harm's way to get people to safety.